Hi guys, good evening. Meet my rabbit. Earlier, she was actually like very weak. So I've noticed actually that uh, she can't even stand on her own. And uh, despite that, you know, there were, I, well, I'm having a lot of rabbit. So uh, she was not also playing with them. So I decided actually to, to free range them earlier, you know, just for temporary only. So just to give them some relaxation. So this guy, I've noticed that uh, you know she was like, she was not, uh, she was not on her, she was not on herself. So I have sus suspected that uh, she might be having some hits. She might be having some problem, you know, maybe heat stroke, or maybe she's bloated. Or I checked if uh, there's any sign of uh, diarrhea after checking her out closely. Uh, initially, what I have done, um, based on the experiences of uh, other, other uh, pet or rabbit owners, I tried to wipe, you know, her ears with with the wet cloth, you know, for any chance of uh, you know heat stroke. But uh, after several hours, she was, uh, she was, it, she's still the same. She was still very weak. As into the point that uh, she can't stand on her own, and uh, since there's no sign of diarrhea and there's no sign of uh, you know that that she's bloated, I tried to check because I'm uh, also new in uh, rabbit tree, and uh, all these indications it's pointing to gastrointestinal stasis or GI stasis. So I checked if uh, because actually earlier she was not also pooping so this is one of the indications because the normal system of the rabbit according to the tree search uh, they should they should be eating and pooping so neither if it's not happening means something is wrong and uh, this is an indication of GI stasis so initially what I have done until now I'm doing it it's already like uh, really late at night because I'm not uh, ready to lose her. And I'm trying to save her as much as I could. So she has already recovered a little bit. I've noticed that she's already eating by herself. But anyhow, just to show you what I have been doing, I was trying to force feed her with, uh, you know, using a syringe range and uh, dextrose powder. I was, you know, force feeding her like this. So now she's okay, see? Oh, she's eating but anyway uh, let's see I just wanted to show you I'm continuously doing it anyhow uh, she's just drinking it and she was actually having a hard time even eating you know the leaves this is a wild daisy uh, it's it is just growing in my doorstep because I was trying to feed her with grass earlier but uh, she was not taking it also so um, you know this 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 wild daisy. They, they uh, this is the one of their favorites. So I thought that maybe I could give it to her. So at least you know one two leaves she was eating it. So at least I was satisfied. And at the same time I was trying to massage her belly like this, just very gently, just to show it to you. And also like this, just you just have to lift it up like like this. See, like this, and try to massage it. Right, like that. So after several attempts, as you can see, she already pooped. So I am actually like very satisfied, and hopefully, she will uh, she will fully recover. I uh, just uh, I'm just not ready to lose her. Uh, she's like a very very uh, nice bunny. So anyhow, I hope that uh, this experience uh, will help also you know uh, the other beginners like me to recover you know from this kind of condition. So good evening again guys.